Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar rahim Peace be upon you. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. I am Sheikh Birindini ibn al Karim, whom your crusades, O King, have left in somewhat reduced circumstances. But this I do not hold against you, for are we not both people of the book? We both bow before the will of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. It is true that you are ignorant of the wise and peaceful teachings of his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And in your childlike ignorance, you pollute your bodies with fermented drink and the flesh of swine, which even the Jews among you are wise enough to refuse. But this I do not hold against you. For you ride to war, O King, allied with those who until recently were your sworn mortal enemies. And so to strengthen your heart, I bring you a tale of one of your own, a Frankish knight like yourself, who united former enemies to face a common foe. His name was Don Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, whom my people simply called the Lord, because he treated his captives as noble guests and not as captured slaves. In our tongue, the Lord is Al Sayy. Your Frankish tongues mutilate as El Cid. Of Al Sayyid, there are many tales, for he was a great warrior. He led armies, he captured cities, captured lands, was exiled in disgrace, returned in triumph, and wed the beautiful women. Daughter of a king. Wish Allah, by the will and grace of Allah, it came to pass that Al Sayyid captured the city of Valencia. <coughs> and ruled it in the name of King Alfonso of Castile. But in truth, he held it in his own hand. And al Sayyid was a wise ruler. And under his leadership, the city prospered. Moor and Christian, Frank and Moor, working together side by side, carrying on all the commerce of a great city, Mush'Allah bringing in the harvest from land and sea in due season. For five years, there was peace and plenty and prosperity in Valencia. And then came the al whom some of you call the al -Murabits. The al whose very name means those who tie their tents outside the city walls to make war. The al whose empire stretched 3,000 miles down the coast of Africa. The al who defeated King Alfonso at the Battle of Al-Falaka, the field was slick with blood. The al who draw their scarves across their faces so that only their fierce eyes The al succeeds to the Lansia. And well you know, O King, that a siege is an ugly thing. It is ugly in the camp outside the city walls and uglier still within. Which Allah came to pass that al Sayyid died. Some say he was struck by an arrow while inspecting the city's defenses on the battlements. Others say he succumbed to the sicknesses common to those besieged. For months, he had given his rations to those whose hunger was greater than his honor. News of the death of Al Sayyid spread through the camp of the Al Murbatun. Al Sayyid is dead. Al Sayyid is dead. Al Sayyid is dead! Al Sayyid is dead! Al Sayyid is dead! Al Sayyid is dead! The cruel taunt echoed round the walls of the city, breaking the hearts of all within. Except Himena the beautiful. Himena the wise. Himena, daughter of a king, widow of a warlord, gave orders that her husband's body be clad in armor and mounted upon his war horse, Barieka. Dawn, the city gates were flung open, the sun gleaming gold upon the banners, Al Sayyid, his generals beside him, his army behind him, banners flying the cross and the crescent. Al Sayyid led one final charge down through the camp of the Al Murabitun, who fled in terror at the sight of Al Sayyid, bearing down upon them from beyond the grave. And so, O King, did Al Sayyid unite former enemies even in death. And may you do as well in life. And inshallah, may Allah preserve you.